It's safe to say this is probably one of the most requested fragrance that people commented on my TikTok live. Yeah, Uncle Koopa's been going live on TikTok. They're going the wrong way! TikTok's been a fun platform to play with, like, especially in the fragrance space. It's like a new baby learning about things. <laughs> They're really up on the clone space and love clones over at TikTok, but when you start putting them on to niche and designer stuff, they're like, ooh, what is this? I don't even know. It's a cool new experience. I suggest you guys follow me on TikTok as well as Instagram, Facebook, and all my YouTube platforms, please. But this fragrance, not only have I never heard of it, but it's a pretty penny to get a whole bottle and not the easiest to find, but I managed to get my paws on a fragrance and this is by the house of Mason Crivelli and it's Mood Maracua. I mean, on all the lives, it's not one, two, three, it's like seven requests for my feedback on this particular fragrance. So I picked up a sample and we're gonna smell it here together. And of course, it's gonna be on TikTok as well. Come on, quarterback! Let's roll my music so we can check out Oud Maracua and see what's the fucking hype about. <laughs> Beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Oud Maracua from Mason Crevelli. I know nothing about it. I've only seen the bottle in Instagram feeds or social media posts having to do with fragrance, but I'm not familiar with it. I see the notes. Cool. And is it really going to be worth the $315 price tag? Woo! Spice. So I got a test trip on deck. Apparently, the fragrance is full of fruity notes, oud. And it seems like a general consensus is saying that this smells like a fruitier version of Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. It's only one way to find out. And I don't know why there would be so much hype on a fragrance that smells like Ombre Nomad, especially if they're in the same price point. So it's gotta be better for it to have that kind of hype, I assume, right? Let's find out what the first impressions of Oud Maracua is. And I don't even need to get close. Yes, it is very close to Ombre Nomad. Damn near, pretty identical in the air. Ah, uh, identical. It is very potent, very strong. I didn't even have to lift the test strip. We're definitely talking about a performance and sillage bubble monster. Monster. Right from rip. Wow, diesel. There is no slack on performance. There's a lot of fruitiness. There's definitely a lot of fruity essence coming up from this fragrance right now. Wow, all right, let's go. Handsome, fruity, definitely very close to Ombre Nomad. I mean, it's quite close. I'm gonna do a comparison too. I get the fruitiness. There's a little bit of a woody element here. The oud factor here almost smells slightly like rotten wood, but I know it's weird to say, but not in a bad way. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells like a really rich, authentic oudy kind of smell or kind of component in there. I just can't get it out of my brain that it's very comparable to Ombre Nomad. Boom, this is the fragrance that I'm talking about. Let me just do a little side by side jump right into it. Let's raise these puppy and put these rumors to rest. Ombre Nomad, Mason Crevili, Oud Maracua, Qua Qua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Oud Maracua is a fruitier version, but there are some strong similarities. And the more that this has sat on the shelf and macerated, the Oud really pops, like strongly pops. Damn, that's pretty fucking good, but all right. All right, on test strip, it's a nice fragrance. Doesn't blow my nuts off because of the comparisons feeling that they're similar vein in that same space. But it's the skin that determines everything so let's do one spray because this seemed very strong that atomizer on this sample is phenomenal all right let me let this dry down a second yes great sea great performance outstanding oud strong leather fruitiness in the air without even putting this to my face this has balls one million percent so at least if you're spending the coin you already know that this is not slacking on performance at all okay a lot more oudier the fruit is reduced a significant amount off the skin very handsome, sexy, leathery, dark, mysterious. You are starting to get a stronger rosy component coming through. Still has that sweetness. The oud is popping up as well, not as dirty as it was on the test strip. On my skin, it's really formulating like a very nice, beautiful, wearable oud. You got some patchouli vibes coming through that are very earthy, punchy, slightly dry. You have benzoin essences in here. I don't find it to be animalic. It's definitely extraordinarily powerful. There's definitely in that beast mode category but i would say that personally it's in the sexy if you have ombre nomad is it a repetitive buy no 
but you will be a little bit disappointed that it's close enough. Yes, the fruitiness of Oud Maracua is definitely the main differentiating factor between these two fragrances, so it does make a difference. They're in that same bubble. I would say that this one does perform better than the Ombre Nomad for sure. This is like a one sprayer, damn beware. And it has a lot of sexy vibes. It's just 315 mm, for something that's in that bubble, possibly. This does not smell like shit. It is not downplaying this fragrance at all. It is very sexy, super masculine, very selective for the fall and winter. If you're in a really hot climate, I feel like Ombre Nomad has a little bit more versatility than this one may have. Loud projection and deep richness of this joint. Maybe. I'll tell you this much. I am curious to smell more fragrances from this house. This is not slacking on performance. It is sexy, very masculine. The oud here is incredible. It is a top tier fragrance. So for for me, if I found it in that 250 space, it'd be kind of a no-brainer. But this is coming from the perspective of a content creator and having this in the collection. Because this would definitely be featured in a Beast Mode video 100%. And this comparison just popped into my head. It's a little bit of an ombre nomad if you sprinkled in some Herba Buddha inside. I think that'll be the comparison that I go with. It's ombre nomad vibes with a little bit of a fruity muskiness from an Herba Buddha. It is a good fragrance. I would give it a ball spray. The more that it develops, and I'm smelling this shit in the air. The more that it's captivating me, it's alluring me, it's bringing me in. The patchouli is really starting to develop and unwind crazy. The fruitiness is still lingering there, but it's not becoming the star of attraction anymore. The oud here is definitely coming up and it's going from not being too crazy animalic to almost a little bit on the animalic and slightly fecal side. So oud lovers might really appreciate how well this does on the skin. I'm going to give it a ball spray. Very intriguing. It is captivating. I keep going back and forth with it, but it keeps luring me back in and when a fragrance does that that means that there's a lot of interesting body in this joint and although my brain is conflicted my nose is like nah kuba this shit is good fam it's looking good right so it's a ball spray i gotta give it to it let's see what the tiktok audience says have y'all tried anything from mason crivelli line and is this one an absolute banger for you leave it in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you bitches next time you know who it is biggest in the game smooch hey, all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse sweet on top of my mom's crib it's lost since you never get in it's lost since you would think that you would <laughs>